What is up guys? So you're finally ready to make a WordPress website. Maybe you need a simple website for your business or you want to create a travel blog to document your new travels or maybe you just saw your friend make a WordPress blog and you know you can do it better. In this tutorial, we're going to make a WordPress website so easily that any beginner can do it. We're not going to use any code and by the end of it, you're going to have the same exact software that these amazing brands and companies that we all know about use. It's going to be incredibly fun and easy and we're going to do it all in under 10 minutes if you can believe that how amazing is that and if you don't believe me that these sites use wordpress and that you're going to have the exact same software that they use and the same technology then just put a forward slash wp admin after their domain name and see the wordpress login screen come up this is exactly how you'll be logging into your wordpress website when you're done watching here and i know you're going to feel great and if you're not feeling great you can always just type in the wordpressexperience.com and visit our club called Unity where you can click on the WordPress forum and ask any question you want about WordPress, web design, or virtually anything you can think of and someone will answer you 24-7 quickly in plain English. It's going to be awesome. And we're already answering a lot of questions here as you can see. Alright, so let's get to it. This tutorial is short but that doesn't mean we can't cover a lot and we're going to. This tutorial can be done in four steps that we're going to do right now, which is number one, get a domain name and hosting. And if you already have a domain name, we'll learn how to use that too with our new WordPress website. Part two is install WordPress. Part three is install a theme. And I'm going to show you a great theme for blogs and websites. So you'll have the confidence knowing that your layout, your template, your theme, whatever you want to call it, can accommodate a great WordPress blog or a website. Let's get those notes out of here for 9.30 a.m. And I want you to know that in the coming weeks, I'm going to publish a tutorial. Look out for how to make a WordPress blog 2017 and how to make a WordPress website 2017, where we're going to develop this entire theme and make it come to life. It's called North. And I'll show you that in a second. And part four is make a website. You can find help at youtube.com slash guy. All my tutorials are free to use and thousands of people are finding them helpful as we speak right now. Can't wait to see you there. All right, so if you're ready, I'm ready. Go ahead and get yourself a coffee or whatever it is you like to drink. And let's go ahead and get our domain name and hosting. Remember, everyone has to do this if you want to use WordPress.org, which we do because we're professional. We want a real website that we own, not a free blog that someone else owns, even though it's nice that it's free. We want the real thing. So let's get our domain name and hosting. And thankfully for us, I'm going to show you how to do domain name and hosting and install WordPress at the same place, which is HostGator.com. In your browser, and hopefully you're using Google Chrome because it's the best for web design, type in H-O-S-T-G-A-T-O-R.com. I've used HostGator since I created my first WordPress.org blog ever, and I've stayed with them ever since. They're not the only good host to get the job done but they're a host that you'll fall in love with and stay with forever. So why not go with the winner from the start? Once you get to HostGator, they make it really easy for you to get started now. Just click Get Started Now. And you're on the right page. What we want is a hatchling plan. That's what everyone signs up for at first, which means that we're just gonna host one single domain, one website, and all the files that go with one website. If you ever want to upgrade to a baby plan and host your friend's website, your parent's website, or your entire website empire, you can do that at any time by clicking support and having a chat with HostGator's award-winning live chat. Just click that button. It's extremely easy and, in fact, fun. They even make it fun. For now, just click sign up now on hatchling plan. Once you're in the HostGator order form, I'll walk you through everything. In step one, you can ask HostGator to register a new domain for you, which they'll do instantly and take it off the market. Or you can select this tab and enter in a domain name you already own and use it for this website. If you don't have a domain name now, you should know that it's a few dollars cheaper to register it at GoDaddy and then connect it to HostGator once we've registered our hosting. But it's a little bit easier to have everything in the same place. And HostGator, like I said, will register your domain name for you flawlessly. Ideally, you want your domain name as simple and short as possible. It should be an absolute no-brainer for people to visit it and find your blog or website. We're going to go with a domain name I already own called madetoblog.com. 
In part two, make sure you have the hatchling plan chosen and a billing cycle of 12 months. That's ideal now. You're gonna get a great discount and you're gonna make sure that you can sit back and blog without worrying about hosting. And by the way, you can add other domain names if you want, but I don't recommend it. Just get the .com if possible. Now choose a username, something you'll remember, and a security pin. In part three, enter in your billing info, which I'll do very quickly. With that done, you can choose to pay by credit card or by PayPal. In step four, we're now gonna uncheck all the additional services. I don't think these are necessary. I can show you how to set up all these sorts of features for free, and if you ever want, you can upgrade and add them on manually later on. Now in step five, enter a coupon code. And HostGator will give you a coupon code good for anywhere from 20 to 30% off. However, because you're using my tutorial, you get to use a bigger coupon. Go ahead and enter in TAKE30 OFF, that's take 30 off, and click validate. In fact, this is the largest discount coupon available at HostGator, and it's the best hosting deal I know of on the web. Enjoy saving a little bit of extra money to use on your website or on any other facet of your business. Make sure all the hosting add-ons are gone, and you'll have a total under $60, which comes out to under $5 a month to create an amazing WordPress website. Think about all the things you blow $5 on, and then picture instead having an amazing professional WordPress website, totally set up and ready to show the world. That's definitely worth it. If your total is under $60, like 53.70 is a perfect total, you're good to go. Just check this box saying I have read and agreed to the terms of service and click check out now. So let's do it. It's time to check your email for your account info from hostgator.com sales. You need this email to proceed and if you didn't get it, check your spam folder or have hostgator live chat send it over manually. Now open it up. If you got your domain name from somewhere else like GoDaddy, now is the time to enter in first name server and second name server at that registrar. You can find the right place at GoDaddy, for example, by clicking your name, click manage my domains, choose a domain name by clicking on the link itself, and then in name servers, click manage and enter in your two name servers from the HostGator email and then save. Don't worry about this step if you registered your domain name with HostGator. Now click the Your Control Panel link. It's time to log into cPanel, HostGator's dashboard of choice, and the tool that most web hosts are adopting as their dashboards too. Use the username and password from your HostGator info email to log into cPanel. You're now done with step one, and it's time to finish the job at HostGator and install WordPress. In the HostGator control panel, come down to the section called Software and Services and click Quick Install to begin installing WordPress. This part's really easy. Just click on this dark blue box that says Install WordPress. And then in this section where it says Install WordPress for free, click on Install WordPress. We're not gonna pay someone to install WordPress for us. Not gonna fall for that. Now simply find your domain name from this drop-down list. There we go. Make sure to leave this section blank. Fill in your best email again, where WordPress will send instructions to move forward, like your login and your password. Write in a blog title, which can be changed later on if you'd like. Your admin user, which you'll use to log into WordPress, so make that good, and your first name and last name. Once your information is entered, just like I've done, it's time to install your very own copy of WordPress. So let's do it together and click Install WordPress. Close this quick install window, and because we want to try logging into our new WordPress site, click View Credentials, and then click the Admin Area link to log in. Using your new username and password from HostGator's quick install, which are right here but should also be emailed to you, go ahead and log into your WordPress website. You should get in just fine, but if you can't access your WordPress site or if it says page not found, but you did follow the steps in this video, 
then you didn't do anything wrong. It's just some propagation going on while the internet comes to understand where and how to locate your website. Just give it a little more time. We start off in the dashboard of WordPress or in the back end of WordPress where you'll be spending most of your time. But if we click on the home icon, which also has our blog title in it, we'll get taken to the front end of our WordPress website. In other words, what the whole world sees. You might not have some images up because I went ahead and set them up for us, but you'll probably have a default theme live like WordPress 2016, which we're seeing here. These images are just called featured images, by the way, and you can set them up in the post editor. You're now done with step two as well, and it's time to move on and install our new theme, which will upgrade the entire look of our website. To do that, click in the upper left again to visit your dashboard, and now click on appearance. Clicking appearance will take us to the theme section where we can see the default themes that the WordPress team has built for us and that our website often comes with. They're awesome. To add a new theme, click add new and we can search from inside the WordPress directory. Thousands and thousands of free themes you can use. The theme of the moment is called North. Just search North. And it's by Site Origin. To install this new theme, click the blue install button. And then simply click activate. Now click in the upper left to view the site again. And we can see we have the beautiful north theme active and you can start using it to your heart's content. The few features you see here like the images and the logo right here were installed by me in advance to make the site look a little more welcoming. And if you want to know how to do that, I'm happy to help you in the comments. I'll also be releasing those two videos, how to make a WordPress blog and how to make a WordPress website 2017 in the near future, where we're going to learn how to make complete WordPress websites and blogs using this amazingly powerful, simple and beautiful North theme. I hope you love it and huge thanks to Site Origin for creating this free masterpiece for us all to use. That's it guys, you now know how to make a WordPress website in under 10 minutes. I hope you do the best things for the web and make the world a better place with your WordPress website. Make sure to visit our forum at thewordpressexperience.com with any questions 24-7 and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.